pie. Chocolate, chocolate any muffin. shape, any form. Chocolate. chocolate. But that is a fair enough one now. I mean, chocolate releases the same endorphins as other stuff. It does. And do you know what? It makes you feel good. I know a minute yeah. on the lips and a lifetime on the hips. But yeah, just place it know, in front of the mug there. So here you are. Ooh, people I at home think that on a diet can be all upset. That and a nice glass of wine. It smells yeah. great. Mm, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. I'll share it with you later. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but if you're really fed up, would a bar of chocolate immediately lift you? Yes, absolutely. Really? Yep. Yep. Some uh, days, I, I mean, uh, most days I have a piece of chocolate. Some days I can go without. But if you're really in bad form or you're feeling hard done by, I always have chocolate buried at the bottom of the fridge where nobody knows. There are some because otherwise one of the kids or dairy or somebody will relieve me of it. And when I go looking for it, it's gone. Then so, um, yes. And then the crack in a week. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So then I have my little piece of chocolate. Yeah. Yes, but I have to say, I was in a bit of a foul mood yesterday and my brother texted me a photograph of my nephew Joey and haven't seen him for ages. But look at him. He's a joy. And I have to say, I was just, oh my God. I just want to eat them all up. So that's what made me happy yesterday. He's very cute. Isn't he very cute? I reckon if I ever had a little boy, it would look like that because I look very much like my brother Brendan. Oh, I've got the call Brendan as well. There you go. So that's what made me happy. Little Joey, little chubby little cheeks and these massive hands. He's absolutely gorgeous. So let us know what makes you happy. Text us in all your happy stories. MD first, followed by your story to 53131. Now take the news. Here is Siobhan. After the break, we're talking trophy wives and what makes Trina McCarthy happy. Don't miss it. Stay with us, Ian 3.